Now, for five years, an illegal football academy has been operating in Johannesburg, claiming alliance with National First Division club Pulukwane City FC. Having paid thousands of rands, young aspirant football players pin their hopes on the academy to achieve their dreams of becoming football stars one day. But those dreams came crashing down last year when Checkpoint producer Sebeb Teles revealed it was an illegal operation. Now, Sebe joins me to tell us more about how her investigation that will be broadcast on Checkpoint tomorrow night here on ENC at 9 p.m. Let's talk about that. Good morning, Sebe. Firstly, how did you come about this story? Morning, Bertan. Um, a former employee of the academy approached us and um, when they joined the academy, they had no idea that it was illegal. So uh, upon discovering that it was an illegal operation, he then approached us to try and, you know, expose the wrongdoing that's, uh, that was going on at the academy. So you then managed to, to, to somehow make your way in there going undercover using a, a, a youngster, and they joined the academy. Uh, wh why did you think it was necessary to do it that way? I mean, Pradhan, we've seen the story in the media before, and the challenge is it always turns into a he said, she said situation. And so we didn't want that. We wanted to be able to, you know, be certain that the information that we provide to the public is factually correct. And so we thought the only way we could do that was actually going there ourselves and, you know, having um, the youngster actually experience it firsthand, take videos from inside and pictures. And, and in that way, we are certain that, you know, all the allegations, every single accusation is correct. Now, I know, of course, that uh, this episode of Checkpoint is going to be aired here on ENC for our viewers tomorrow night at 9 o'clock. But, but just share with us, after you gathered uh, all the evidence, I mean, you carried on uh, following the story, you confronted then the manager of the club. How did that go? I mean, with any, anyone who's accused of wrongdoing, um, you know, they always deny it. They always try to justify their actions. They always claim to have proof um, that, you know, what they're doing is correct. And so we were also met, you know, with someone that thinks that way as well. Um, he claimed that everything he was doing was right. He claimed to be registered with SAFA. Um, but I'll let you see for yourself. Have you spoken to Polokwane City and they say that they have nothing to do with you? You're using their name to scam people. How do you respond to that? It's not like that. It's not like that, so what's no. going on? No, we are registered and we did it. Registered with who? SAFA. How come they don't know you? We are fitted on the rent center. We have the documents. Um, this is one of the registrations and then... Uh, this is CIPC. This is not SAFA. Uh, I'm bringing SAFA also. Next, we asked Mutswana about the inadequate food he was serving trainees. Would you eat this? This was from whom? This is from your players. Would you eat this? No, no. And what about the sleeping arrangements, we asked. Do the boys not sleep on the floor? No, we have mattresses for them. Are they not sleeping on the floor? Mattress? Mattress, another one here, another on this side. I mean, they, parents are paying you 3.2 monthly. You're telling me no. you can't even do something as basic as buy enough mattresses for no. people. Well, that was some confrontation there, Sebe, and I'm sure the viewers will see more of what really uh, happened after all of that when Checkpoint uh, airs here on ENC tomorrow night at 9 o'clock. Thank you very much uh, for your time this morning as we preview that. Remember, that story will be broadcast, as I've just said, on ENCA tomorrow night at 9 p.m.